Hello there. Uh, this is the second part of the tutorial of how to migrate now uh, one existing app to your um, par server at uh, DigitalOcean. Uh, you have to watch uh, the first uh, part so you can uh, install uh, par server and pass dashboard. This is the pass dashboard. Um, be sure to update because they have also added this uh, section here so you can see uh, which parts of dash uh, of which version of, of parts dashboard you are using uh, also you can see here the server version you have to be sure that you have the latest so you have no errors uh, this uh, video tutorial is sponsored by irm.gr uh, so uh, don't be confused by all these tabs, I will explain of course. Uh, make sure that you run parse uh, dashboard and parse server. Uh, you make, you minimize those to uh, set up the MongoDB. So uh, don't forget that in the first uh, part of the video uh, we have already pre-installed MongoDB and uh, now we are going uh, to make one new database with Mongo by this link here or maybe better from here just to explain that I have no no resources to take uh, an domain name and uh, SSH for HTTPS access but uh, because the migration wants an SSL certification, I can't afford to give you the tutorial with an SSL certification, but we will be, I will guide you to make it without an SSL certification. So uh, now we are going to set up the first, uh, the first thing that we'll go to the PAR server guide to the database and we have to set the fail index key to long to false we click on this hyperlink here and uh, of course first we have to take this line here copy open putty right click and enter so here you can see it's being false now we have to make another uh, as you can see here the NSSL connection is recommended but it's not required now we make uh, another MongoDB so we go to Mongo Mongo so now we enter the MongoDB cell now we're going to push uh, to make we copy and I want to use admin too because I've already made one admin so I will show you again admin two. switch to database admin two. this is the name of our database admin two. now I will give you all this this is one line maybe they write it in separate lines but you have to write it in one line and in the DB you have to write the name of the database and user admin any database so let's go create the migration parts to irm.cr okay for the database admin and now we exit we restart MongoDB And we enter again. Don't forget to open a text editor because you have to delete those SSL certificates. Admin the username is migration parse. And the password is going to be asked right now. Don't write anything as password. Enter password. The password is irm.cr. Okay, now we have been connected. 
Now let's create another database name. Now, uh, example migration DB. Okay, and now we will create another user. And don't forget, this is the user that we are going to use later, so don't miss this, uh, this part of the tutorial. Parse migration password irm zr rules relight db admin go here successfully added the user and now uh, we are not going to to go to our parse uh, dot com we have to go to this link here set the authentication to true okay Set parameter enable localhost by authenticate pass to zero. Zero. We now will open another putty. We connect to our server. We go to etc. mongod uh, dot conf, and now they say to add uh, a hashtag behind bind i bind ip one two seven zero zero one because with this uh, we disable uh, SSL uh, security and we can uh, connect to our database from parse dot com services. So we find bind IP, you go with, the, uh, with uh, the cursor down and you add the hashtag here, control X, yes, save and now we restart our server. Go here, so the service MongoD restart. Okay. Now we close it. Okay. We exit from here. Now we have to make this step now. You go to the window that you have opened the par server here. You push control C and now you push nano index.js and you go here to the database URI and instead of localhost slash dev which is dev is the name of uh, the database you go and you paste the name of the, this database admin actually no example migration db control x yes save ok npm start now it's been connected. Now we go to parse.com. Here, uh, I'm in uh, inside a project. Go to app settings, general, migrate. And now, here we have to put the link. So we go to, to this tutorial here. And we write parse migration. So here the username is parse migration. The password is irm.gr. Our domain is this one. But we delete the slashes and the HTTP. 
and the database name is example migration db. Paste this link here without the SSL true and we hit begin the migration. Now we have a message here that we they recommend you SSL equal true, but if anyone wants the for uh, digital ocean, the guide is here. You can do it all by yourself. So migrate anyway, and the migration begin. The uh, now it informs us that the snapshot copy has been completed. They are now syncing the new data since snapshot into MongoDB instance. And the sync is completed. Now we have to verify our database. Let's go and find out. We enter Mongo. And now we have to see which command in MongoDB uh, shows all the, our database. So we search MongoDB show databases. So DBs. Now we have example migration DB here. And we press use example inside uh, this database. Now we, we want to see the collections. So we put show collections in the current database, print a list of the collection of current database. Now we have user session, photo activity everything we want, uh, everything that is being migrated. Now, let's go back to Parse Server. Now, when I refresh now, we will see exactly the same uh, columns. Now we see activity, photos, like on parse.com, Activity, photo, has exactly the same. Everything is uh, migrated now. So we go back to parse.com, up settings, view progress of migrate the database, and we hit finalize. We hit OK, and the migration has finished. Now uh, uh, we have all our data here. Everything is inside. We and this is the migration part. Uh, tomorrow I will make uh, a video of uh, how to keep those two things running: the parse dashboard and parse server on the background with uh, one Linux command screen. Uh, be a bit patient and we will complete the tutorial with the third part. And uh, I hope everyone uh, understand. If you have any question, you can ask uh, at the comments. Uh, you also can make a DigitalOcean account from my referral link so you can win uh, $10. This is from me. Uh, goodbye. Hope to see you another time.